Okay, so for this problem, it's a submarine question, and it's in three dimensions. And just so we know, where distances are in meters and velocities are in meters per second. Um, now, our submarines rise to the surface of the sea in a straight path. At time t equals zero, the submarine is at point P with coordinates 350, negative 217, 785, relative to a set of axes whose origin lies on the surface of the sea. So here is the sea. So I'm going to kind of pretend there's my ocean, and then here is my up and down. Okay? Here is the water. This is all water kind of thing. Down and down low here. Um, the x axis is east, so this is x. The y axis is vertically up, up, upwards, so here is the y axis. And then the z is north. That's our z axis going north. The velocity of the submarine is given by this vector equation here. And I know that the submarine is at point P somewhere, and I, it's not going to be even close to an accurate diagram, but it's just meant to think about what's going on. This is point P, 350, negative 217, and 785. To find the position vector OP, that's going to be this vector here which is simply the same as point P. So 350, 217, and 785. I want to find the speed of the submarine. That's B part. Well, this is my velocity. And my velocity is related to speed. The speed is the magnitude of this vector. So if I want to find the speed of the the speed is simply equal to the magnitude of my velocity vector, which is square root of negative 9 squared plus 7 squared plus a negative 4 squared. And if I throw that into my calculator, I get an 81 plus 49 plus 16 and I end up with some value, oh, some value. Twelve point one is what someone has just told me. So twelve point one, and this is meters per second. Now, it says the submarine's path can be modeled by a straight line. So it's here and it's coming out of the water. It's going to be coming doom, 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 doom. here. It's coming out of the water. If I want to model that, well, I know my vector equation of the line, line one, I'll call it. We'll call it x, y, z. Is equal. My starting point is point P. That's my position. Negative two seventeen and 785, plus my direction is this vector, my velocity vector. So plus t, and then negative 9, 7, and negative 4. This is the straight line modeled by the vector here in, in purple. And it's in terms of t. It's a straight line, a vector equation of the line. And so here's our, our line. Now, d part says there's a fishing boat lo located at point Q at 10, 0, 600. Find how far is a submarine from the fishing boat when it surfaces. Well, let's think about this for a moment. Pretend I'm a bird and I'm looking up from the sky. Okay? The submarine is going to come up here somewhere. And then somewhere, with Y being 0, this is my Z being north, and this is my x value. Somewhere, I have a fishing boat somewhere here at Q, which is the point 10, 0, 600. When the submarine comes up, I want to find out this distance. In order to find this distance, I need to first find this point S, what I've called, where it hits the surface. The key to recognizing when it hits the surface is we know then the y value. The y value has to be 0. 
that's when it hits the surface. That's what it's been defined. So for d, I let y equal 0 as it's the surface. It's the surface. And that's key. You have to recognize that. You have to be able to think that one through. So 0 then equals negative 217 plus 7t. I solve for t, and I get 217 divided by 7, and that is 31. And, my, and that is minutes, I believe. Minutes, seconds. That's moving pretty fast, then. Okay, so that's the time it takes to get to the surface. Now, if I want to find the actual position, though, the coordinate, I can take this t value, sub it into here, and that will tell me. I'm going to take this t, plug it in to here, and that will tell me where it is located on my water surface here. So, doing that calculation, we get x, y, z. I get 350 minus 217, 785, plus 31 times negative 9, 7, negative 4. And so I get 350 plus 31 minus 9. Seven two one. Zero. Next one zero, and the last one. Seventy one. The first one is seventy one. Oh, seventy one. Okay, thank you. My assistants are helping me out. Seventy one, and the z value when I do this computation. Six six one. Six six one. So this coordinate here is 71, 0, 6, 6, 1. And I want to find this distance now. To find the distance, I can then go and find vector sq. By subtracting it, I go head minus tail. So 10 minus 71 is negative 61, 0, and 600 minus 661 is again minus 61. The distance is going to be the magnitude of that vector, which is then the square root of negative 61 squared plus 0 squared plus negative 61 squared, which is 261 squared square rooted which is 61 root 2, which I don't know what that is in meters. Um, 86.3. 86.3 meters. So that means my submarine comes up to the surface in 31 seconds. He's 710661 position, and he is... 83, 86.3 meters away from Q.